Hello everyone, I am Rufia Bas on behalf of Sin Biotechnologist Association. In this lecture, we are going to talk about recombinant DNA technology. Recombinant DNA technology. Recombinant DNA technology involves using enzymes and various laboratory techniques to manipulate in the isolate DNA segments. DNA molecules that are extracted from different sources and chemically joined together. For example, DNA comprising an animal gene may be recombined with DNA from a bacterium. This method can also be used to combine DNA from different species or to create genes with new functions. The resulting copies are known as recombinant DNA. Now come to the discovery of recombinant DNA technology. The first DNA structure was discovered by Watson and Creek in 1953. After the DNA ligase is isolated in 1967, then first production of recombinant DNA molecule using restriction enzymes in 1970s. Paul Berg generated first recombinant DNA in 1972. After that, Kohan and Boyer in 1973 produced first plasmid vector capable of being replicated within a bacterial host. Goals of recombinant DNA technology. Why we study recombinant DNA technology? We study recombinant DNA technology to isolate and characterize a gene, to make a desired alterations in one or more isolated gene, to return altered genes to living cells, alternating the genome of an organism to improve human genome. Procedures of making recombinant DNA. These are the procedures for making recombinant DNA. The first one is isolation of DNA, cutting of DNA, joining of DNA, and amplifying of DNA. For further explanation, let's move to the next slide. Isolating of DNA. A nucleic acid enclosed within the nucleus. Isolation of DNA is not an easy task. That's why it is enzymatically controlled process where plants and animals treated with enzymes. First, cells are lysed using a detergent that restrict the plasma membrane. Cell contact contents are treated with protease to destroy protein and RNAs to destroy RNA. After the cell debris is pelleted in a centrifuge, the supernatant containing the DNA is transferred to a clean tube. The DNA is precipitated with ethanol. It forms viscous strains that use the spoiled on a glass rod. Cutting of DNA. DNA can be cut into large fragments by mechanical shearing. Restriction enzymes are the scissors of molecular genetics. It helps to identify the location where a designated gene is introduced into a vector genome. The agrogel electrophoresis technology displays the restriction enzyme digestion process. By using this method, passing the DNA across gel is possible. When current is applied, negative charged DNA flows to positive electrode and is divided into different sites. The next one is joining of DNA. Practice and section of DNA join in this step with the help of enzyme DNA ligase. Ligation is a process of putting these two parts together with enzymes DNA ligase. The new hybrid DNA is known as recombinant DNA molecule and the process is known as recombinant DNA technology. Amplifying the recombinant DNA. PCR is a process to amplify gene once the proper gene of interest has been cut. At first, transforming the recombinant DNA into bacterial host strain then cells are treated with CaCl2 and DNA is added. After these cells are heat shocked at 42 degrees Celsius, DNA goes into cell by somewhat an unknown mechanism. Once in a cell, the recombinant DNA will be replicated. When the cells divided, the replicated recombinant molecules go to both daughter cells, which themselves will divide later. Thus, the DNA is amplified. Vectors used in recombinant DNA technology. Vector is an area of DNA that can join another DNA part without losing the limit of self-replication. It should be capable of replicating in the whole cell and it should be small and easy to isolate. 
should have a selectable marker to indicate which host cell received recombinant DNA molecule. It should have convenient RE sites for inserting DNA of interest. These are the vectors used in recombinant DNA technology. The first one is plasmid vector, which is used for DNA cloning. Second one is cosmid vector. Cosmids are hybrids of phages and plasmids that can carry DNA fragments. They can replicate like plasmids but can be baked like phage lambda. The next one is yeast artificial chromosomes. These are the vectors that have been engineered to contain centromere telomere origin of replication. They are useful for cloning eukaryotic genes that contain introns. The next one is lambda phage vector. Lambda phage vectors are recombinant infections containing the phage chromosomes in addition to embedded outside DNA. The next one is expression vector. Expression vectors are vectors that query host signals that facilitate the transcription and translation of an inserted gene. They are very useful for expressing eukaryotic genes in bacteria. Applications of recombinant DNA technology in different fields. In agriculture, it is used for production of uh, transgenic plants with improved qualities like insects and drug, drug resistance and nutritional enrichment. In pharmacology, it is used for insulin production, drug delivery to target sites. In medicine, it is used for uh, gene therapy, antiviral therapy, vaccination for production of vaccines like the hepatitis B vaccine and synthesizing clotting factors. Other uses are uh, fluorescent fishes and globin plants. These are the references from where you can get more information about the lecture. Thank you so much for your attention.